Have you ever been betrayed? What I want to tell you this morning about betrayal is yes, it hurts. Yes, it hurts because I can see on your faces as I'm speaking and I can sense the quietness in this room that this is not one of those messages where you're like, yeah, I've been betrayed. This is one of those messages where you're like, yes, and I really want to get back with that person. Thank you for bringing it up in church today. Now I just really hate that person more. I get that. I'm aware. And I didn't bring you to this point today to make you leave here and want to go slit someone's tires. I brought you to this point because I don't think dealing with internal emotions are bad because I want you to know that Jesus, when he cried out on the cross, it is finished, didn't just overcome sin, didn't just overcome death, didn't just overcome everything that we talk about in church, but Jesus overcame every hurt that you will ever face. It doesn't mean you won't face hurt. Hear me. It doesn't mean you won't be betrayed. It doesn't mean that people won't turn their back on you and stab you in the back. But what it does mean is that when you face it, he stands in your defense and he says, if you will run to me, I will heal you. I will heal your broken heart. I will heal your scars. I will help those wounds become wholeness and I will take the things that have hurt you and use you to heal others with your life because I took it all on myself when I cried out, it is finished. 